morning it's thursday and um it's after st patrick's day but i actually had bought um a corned beef um because it was on sale for like a dollar 88 a pound um so you can get good deals around st patrick's day so this is my second time making um i'm really making a boiled dinner with uh corned beef cabbage uh potatoes and carrots and maybe like an onion um but this is how i started so um, I'm going to cook this on low for nine hours just the corned beef by itself and um, it has so the corned beef is in here fat side up I put the um, season packet that comes in it I rub that on and I rub some um, like crushed garlic on there I have like a, a mincer or whatever um, so I did three cloves of garlic some pepper a little bit of sugar and um, just rub that onto the top and then what you do now that I got it cooking I have a bay leaf in there I have two tablespoons of um, apple cider vinegar um, I gotta get a refill but this is the um, the Bragg's organic apple cider vinegar with the mother so um, I try to I used to try to um, have like a shot of this a day I might go back to it soon um, but I use that and I use some chicken broth and I just put just lined it on the bottom a little bit so it's covering it's not covering it's um, filling up maybe up to 25% of the corned beef um, so this will cook for nine hours it will shrink in size I think this might be almost four pounds um, but it will shrink in size and what I'll do is I will take this out um, and I'll actually put it under the broiler so the top is nice and crispy. Um, so at the seventh hour, what I will do also is um, I will add the potatoes, um, carrots, and cabbage. I got like a small head of cabbage because this isn't really a big, very big crock pot. Um, and what I'll put that in two hours before it's done. So I'll put that in two hours. It will have a lot of flavor. Um, so the corned beef and um, the liquids that in it that are in it will flavor it then I'll take those out and then what I'll do is I'll put um, the corned beef under the broiler and kind of um, cook it as a platter so I'll come back later when that's done so this is my version of corned beef and cabbage or boiled dinner about two hours um it's been in the uh, before it's done um the corned beef has been in the crock pot for seven hours so it's on low for nine hours i'm about to open it and let's see the steam come out ooh, 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 ooh. looks pretty good didn't shrink down too much so that's good the seasoning and it's created some liquid so what I'm going to do is put the um, put the potatoes carrots onion and the cabbage on top and put the lid back on and let that go for um, the rest of the time so everything will be um, nice and soft so I'll be right back I'm gonna put it in the slow cooker right now all right, so I'm putting the potatoes and the carrots in because those um, probably take longer to cook, um, and I kind of want it near the more near the liquid. And what I'm going to do, this is a very small head of cabbage. I am going to stuff this in, and it'll reduce down. So cabbage, um, it makes its like own liquid. So I did about. Um, Four red potatoes with the skin on. They were kind of just like regular size. They're not like baby potatoes. But um, yeah, I cut them into like equal sizes. And then um, I did a small onion and like a half a bag of baby carrots. Um, I hope this will all fit. You know what I need? I need an instant pot. I love my slow cooker, but I, I, do, I, I do need an instant pot. So... Um, I have a 30% coupon for Kohl's, um, and the Instant Pot runs about $100, so I can get it for $77. Then they have Kohl's cash, so I will be making a little bit of money. So I had $60 for like a six quart. <clears throat> I love my slow cooker, but I do need an Instant Pot. I have seen recipes where they're doing Instant Pot, Instant Pot corned beef, and I need that in my life. 
All right, so I'm gonna put the cover back on, let it go the two hours, and we'll see what it looks like at the very end. I'm gonna make some core yep, bread. So on. I'm enjoying a breakfast stout, double chocolate coffee oatmeal stout um, from Founders Brewery. It's gonna go delicious with the fatty corned beef. I don't think so. I made some cornbread, and here is the result of the corned beef. Um, the fat is crispy. Um, I always have a hard time cutting it, so I'm going to try to cut it with the with the grain, on the grain. And um, what I did was transfer from the crock pot. So I took it out of the crock pot and then put it under the broiler for a couple minutes. So it gets nice and crispy, but it's still very tender and juicy. Hi, yo. Doing it, yo. Mm -hmm. And then um, this is the cabbage, carrot, and like a small onion. Um, there is some liquid, but you know, I just kind of strain the liquid out and um, we'll enjoy it with some cornbread. And that's a boiled dinner. That's good. Cornbread. That's cornbread. You like cornbread? All right, so I cut up, and every piece has kind of like. A nice seasoned crust with some fat. Um, this looks like a like a really good piece. Mom, and can I say hi yo? Hi yo! Hi yo! Happy St. Patrick's Day! It's post St. Patrick's Day, but here is the corned beef from the slow cooker, and then put under the broiler. Hi yo! How you doing? Yo? <laughs> All right, and so we're going to feast Me, now. Daddy.